Good evening, sir. Sir, I'm a first year student. I have been here since three weeks. Sir, how do you deal with homesickness? I mean, I'm uh, been here since three weeks. Everything reminds me of my family, my home, and I'm uh, I'm not able to fit in this new environment, new city. So, how do I deal with that? I feel lonely and isolated. Home is the place that prepares you to fly. Ever seen a bird's nest? Would mama bird be happy if the kids never fly out? She'll push them over. You get lost. Will I keep feeding you all my life? Is that why you were born? What is the nest supposed to be? It's an incubatory, by definition. No? That's how home must be. You've been in your home for a good 17, 18 years. Now is the time to spread your wings, rise up and away. Getting it? But home has comforts. And hostel has seniors probably. <laughs> Not sure whether you live in a hostel and whether there are seniors, but that's how it used to be, my times. And when there are seniors, huh? Mama and Papa appear additionally sweet. <laughs> Even though you used to quarrel daily with them till the time you were at home. But now, home is heaven. Hmm? No parents are going to enjoy the fact that their son or daughter is not capable of facing, rather flourishing in the external world. In some sense, home is a lab. Nothing can forever remain in a lab. There will come a day when you'll have to fly out of this campus as well. And that day is not too far, four years, that's all. It's a BTEC program, right? Four years. Very soon, blink of an eye, you will find you are in your farewell party. Ask me, it happens just without telling you. And you'll remember, you'll say, so many of us said in our farewell speech, just yesterday I was in my freshers. And today I am in the farewell. It happens so swiftly. And when you are moving out, you will be equally nostalgic about the campus. And you would have forgotten everything about your home by then. First semester, you want to rush to your home every weekend. Second semester, every month. Third semester, only in the breaks and holidays, Diwali. By the time you come to the third year, you tell at home that there is nothing called an inter-semester break. <laughs> this time the professors are especially wicked and they have given us grueling projects. And those projects have to be completed in the break so I cannot come home. And then it's the parents who come looking. Where is the kid? Which hostel? And they are told that he left the hostel long back. <laughs> He's living with his friends in some private facility outside and enjoying life. And then you devise ways to somehow escape your parents. Hmm? Not always, just kidding. Hmm? Are you getting it? Be always ready for change. Without change, there can be no progress. 
Never call any place as your destiny or destination. You are meant to just rise, rise and rise endlessly. You are not meant to settle down anywhere. Not in your home, not in this campus, not in the next campus, not in one company, not anywhere. Till this body is there, just keep moving. Charai veti, charai veti. What else is life for? Life is not meant to be spent in comfort. Life has to be a grueling journey. Hmm? You have only so much time. Make the most of it. How do you want to spend that time sleeping in comfort? Mummy ke parathe. That's not what life is for. Getting it? Hmm? There is so much in the campus. Make best use of the facilities. Uh, I'm sure there would be sporting facilities in the campus. Did you have all these at your home? But you haven't picked up the racket or, or the bat even once, have you? After landing in the campus? So that's what. If you will not make the best use of things that the campus offers you, Obviously, you will not value the campus. Did you have a great library at home? I'm pretty sure the campus has a great library. Did you have a computer center at home? Apart from the little mobile? You didn't have. Did you have so many young people at home? So many boys at home? So many girls at home? <laughs> How can you be eager to Go back to home. Huh? <laughs> Make the best use of these four years. Even in the campus, do not laze around. There would be a swimming pool probably. Learn to swim. Learn different languages. Visit the library. Read as much as you can. Huh? A campus is a great place and you'll miss the campus once you walk out. It is here that people exist just to correct your mistakes. Outside when you will make mistakes, you'll be penalized. Here when you will make mistakes, there are benevolent people who exist just to help and correct you. Do you see the difference? That's the difference between a professor and an employer. You will not get professors outside. It's a cutthroat world. But you don't realize that. Even we used to undervalue our professors. We realized their worth once they were not there. And that's when we thought we need to pay them respects as alumni. Hmm? I've, I've gone back to both my campuses. Hmm? And then, after graduating, when I met my teachers, I met them in a different light. I was far more grateful. Unfortunately, when the opportunity is there, then we neither make use of it nor feel grateful. We just keep cribbing. Oh. Huh? Don't crib these four years away. Live them and live them hard. Study hard, play hard, party hard. What stops you? Hmm? 